Welcome to The Real Boardloft. I'm Trip Foreman, and today we have Jake Sachs, The Real Marketing Manager, back with us. Jake, how are you today? Doing well. Awesome. And we have a couple new shred sticks to talk about today. Uh, this is the new Maurice Cole Reverse V Diamond Twin. Diamond Twin. Four words. Reverse V Diamond Twin. And uh, this is another board in the collab between Real and Maurice Cole mm -hmm. uh, that all started off with that reverse V shorty yep. last year. The twin pin has just been absolutely on fire, yeah, the reverse V definitely. twin pin. And uh, that, that one has just been an absolute grand slam home run. Yeah. And a lot of with a lot of surfers, it's actually kind of canceled their entire quiver. Like right. they can't really get on anything else. Yeah. And so what we wanted to do with Maurice is come out with a, uh, a step down for that board. So a board to ride underneath the, the twin pin. Okay. And, yeah. uh, and the twin pin, it kind of works in everything. Yeah. Like you could ride it in small ways. Like I was riding mine in like kind of this, this height kind of stuff, <clears throat> all the way to overhead and, and tubes and everything. And it, it rides everything and yeah. it like flows and everything, but it definitely feels the best in, in, I think in it's better, in better surf, right. like the juicier it gets, the yep. better it feels. And so we wanted to have something that would cover kind of peak in the bottom half of the mm -hmm, range mm -hmm. and then also uh, be looser in the turns. Yeah. Like, you know, more of a snap rather than like kind of more long drawn out carves yeah. and uh, like uh, tighter wraps in the pocket, like more shortboard style, yeah. but like with that same extended rail line in the drive of the, of the twin. So that's, that was where the, uh, the idea came from before the board, right. you know, even came around, you know, so to, to do that with the board, uh, what we ended up doing with Maurice was, first of all, adding tail area, like adding width to the board. So we took the wing out. So there is no like, like there's bump no wing, like there in, is on right. the twin pin. And then it goes to a diamond tail. Right. Uh, so there's more, there's more on the block, but there's also more from the block to where my other finger is right here in this section. There's more tail, tail area and that's gonna give you like more under, underfoot power, right. you know, and speed. And ride it shorter and wider a little bit? Yeah, so you're yeah. gonna ride it shorter and wider <clears throat> compared to the twin pin. Yeah. Um, you know, typically like what we found the sweet spot was on the twin pin was a foot over your height. Mm -hmm. So I'm 6'2 and I'm riding my twin pin in a 7'1". Right, okay. It never feels big. Right. Like, and some people are like tripping because they think, when they think like 7-1, they think like a 7-1 shortboard. Right. You know, they think like a needle nose 7-1, which would feel really big, right? Yeah. But, uh, you know, my twin pin 7-1, like I've never questioned it being too big. It just feels right when I ride it. Yeah. Uh, but this board, we wanted it, it to be shorter. So <clears throat> if you're riding your twin pin uh, a foot over your height, you're gonna ride this board six inches. Okay, shorter Easy, yeah. than that than that board or six inches over your height you know one one or the other so uh, my twin pin i'm riding it i mean my uh, diamond twin i'm riding at six seven yeah what that does is two things like if you already have a twin pin and you're looking for a step down it gives you like a shorter more maneuverable board and a lot of people just trip out on going quote unquote that long yeah with a seven one you know or with any seven anything um <laughs> or, or upper sixes they just like it's like a mind melt yeah so this is a good board to go to if you're just tripping on going that long right because you don't have to go as long yeah or if you're looking for something for the smaller end of that wave spectrum yeah something a little more um you know shortboard gravel in in that zone um, I felt like this thing lit up when the wave flattened out a little bit, yep. like you're saying, and you could pull turns on flatter sections because of the twin fin, because of the, the channels, you could actually wrap kind of almost shortboard style uh, twin fin turns, yep. and it would really just hook in that pocket like you were saying. So yeah, nailed it on that one as far as um, fitting it within that reverse V uh, story, yeah. you know? And so, I mean, it still has, it still has the channels, right, in the in the tail. And you, you were making some good comments about the channels like earlier. Like, did it feel like tracky or anything? When right. You... Whenever you look at a board with with channels like this, especially deep channels, you think, oh man, it might track out or uh, on on a face a wave face with any chatter on it. Uh, a lot of times, guys will worry about uh, some air or some just some weird stuff happening in the tail and it feeling um, skittery and sk and skittish. But it, it didn't feel that way at all. And we surfed some. It was clean, and then it kind of got a little texture on it. Yeah. And uh, and it just held 
perfectly and felt great. I mean, it, it never, I never had to worry about it. Even on some steeper drops uh, where I was a little late, uh -huh. I, I didn't have to worry about it tracking straight or spinning out with the twin fin. It just, it felt like there's confidence in the, the tail, uh, just giving you forward momentum out of turns and, and out of a bottom turn too. That's like a, I mean, do you ever, like, would you ever put a trailer fin in it? No, no, you don't need to because you have those channels. Yeah. Yeah, and they're they're perfect. Yeah, yeah, I mean, that's like one, I think a lot of people are like a little, you know, because they, maybe they had a negative experience on a right. twin fin. Right, And exactly. so they're like, oh, this is going to be like sliding out a little bit. Like yeah. on the twin pin and on this, like I've never, it, I don't, like they just don't spin out. Like the, no. the combination of like the box placement, like where they are on the board and the yeah. fins and the channels, like it just, it just holds, you know? Yeah. And then when you would go up to the lip, to throw a turn, uh, it, it felt just buttery. I mean, just smooth and, and nice turn, so. So the next thing I want to talk about is just <clears throat> the, the fl like the speed that the, this board gets into the wave and then just sort of like the flow on the wave. So like a, I had a bunch of super fun sessions uh, like on the south side of the island on this mm -hmm. board. And um, the thing that was really neat about it was, was how it got into the wave. Like you could see it's pretty, you know, Overall, the rocker's yeah. pretty flat. Beak nose. Beak nose. It's got like a little bit wider nose area with mm -hmm. a little beak, up, a subtle beak up here. Mm -hmm. And then the diamond tail just gets a really good, like really good push into the wave. Mm -hmm. And that's, um, I think that's the one thing that a lot of people forget about is that like the width of the tail block, like how big the, how big the butt is. Yeah. It's just the bigger Maybe the butt, more... like the, the yeah. bigger it gets launched, the, the more it gets launched into the wave, you yeah. know, because like, there's more area like for the wave to push on. Yeah. And so you get into the wave with more speed, like you're able to generate like with the with the board being pretty parallel and outline, it generates speed really well down the line. So like kind of maximizes like the smaller wave conditions. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And the twin fin is obviously is, is fast anyway, you know, there's way yeah. less drag. But the thing that I found really neat was um, was not only like were you able to like you know wrap it tighter than the twin pin uh in the softer surf but you're also able to like stand in different parts of the board yeah. like i mean i was even able to like get my back foot like here and like wrap my front foot yeah. like on the nose yeah totally. uh and so you're able to do like some mid-length stuff but on a way shorter way shorter board mm -hmm. uh which which was neat like it was like you could either be pumping it and surfing it like a short board or you could be like high lining it and trimming yeah you know, and it would still go i actually like got a wave where i highlined it almost like you know you would on a fish like a twin fin fish i highlined it and then cut back kind of like a downturn uh -huh. down carve and and felt really good that way too and then stepped forward on it and it kind of it takes off even when you're forward of center a little bit too so yeah definitely very versatile in the ways you can ride it and the lines you can pick on it let's talk about uh fins really quick you know with a twin pin with the reverse V twin pin, like we've been really recommending the uh, the Futures EN, mm. which is like their bigger twin fin. Yeah. Uh, you know, if you're a really light surfer or a light footed surfer, you could start going with smaller fins. Like I've seen people uh, use the IKEA IPA fin in right. it. Um, yeah. The T1, T1, which is like what you yeah. have in your board. Yeah. And Maurice uh, did a collab with NVS fins, uh, a G10, like a specific fin that you can use on this board yes. and the uh, twin pin and it, again it's like a more upright high performance twin uh, it's got some cool scallops in mm -hmm, the back mm -hmm. which you can see here just to like take a little bit of area off and like give you a little bit of release because yep. i think over time people are finding out uh lighter surfers uh, you know or lighter foot surfers can go with a smaller fin because the the channels like the overall board design and the channels uh give you quite a bit of hold yep. you know so i always say hey like go with the ens like I mean, if you're going to have too much speed and too much hold, that's not really a bad thing to have. Right. And yeah. then you can always downsize as you get like your second uh, second set of fins like to tune, you know, tune it in. Hey, one thing I want to ask you about, Jake, is uh, you tried my board. Yeah. And so I'm like 200 pounds and you're like, how much do you weigh? 145 or 150. 150. Yeah. And then so, um, you know, my board's like 43 and change probably. So how did it feel when you rode it? big because that board's like 32 or something right so, this, so when you rode it 10 liters big did it did it still did it still ride well it did it, it rode a little less shortboardy and a little more like uh, uh 
fish, a twin fin fish would, or a, okay. you know, a little more mid-length feel to it. Okay. But uh, it felt really good, and that's where I was able to uh, kind of do move around a lot more. The sweet spot got bigger. The okay. I felt like on a bigger board. Right. Uh, and that's where I, I was able to kind of pull those high lines and and more of a, a twin fin feel to it uh, as a shorter board I, I would think it would be a lot more short board uh, feel to it you know, and like so like uh, throw it around a lot more somebody coming up um, you know coming off of a long board or coming off of like a like a mid length could they get one of these in a bigger size like per their weight like say, more volume than what their weight would indicate and still have it be a good board I would say for sure 100% yeah if you're coming off a long board or a mid length I would go uh, a little longer if that makes you feel comfortable yep. you know if you're ha if you're happy with that and you want a little more glide and, and you're not worried about uh, the size and throwing it around throwing short board turns if you're coming off of a short board yep. and you're looking for something more uh, a grovel uh, with some short board turns with just a different feel to it the twin fin feel then uh -huh. I would go closer to your like grovel board volume and uh, and length you know uh, or or short board length Okay. Uh, and and surf it that way. I think it would it would go great that way. So, awesome. Yeah. Well, that is the uh, the Maurice Cole Reverse V Diamond Twin. Obviously, Diamond Twin comes from the Diamond Tail. If uh, if you have any questions about this board, or if you'd like to place an order for one, you can always reach us at the shop two five two nine eight seven six thousand, or look us up online realwatersports.com forward slash surfing. Thanks for tuning in. Yeah.